Hello, welcome back. I'm not sure if you know, but one of my jobs is to record voiceovers and I'm going to Leeds to record a voiceover this morning. So I thought I would vlog the trip and whilst I'm vlogging the trip, I would give you my top five tips for vlogging. Before we get into it, I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out and it makes me very happy. So thank you if you do all that. All right, let's go. just parked up at the train station because Leeds is a nightmare city to drive around so I always get the train in. Before we get into the tips, here's a bonus tip to start with, get coffee. Okay, tip number one. Treat the camera like it's someone you know, not like you're talking to an inanimate object. Pretend it's someone you're familiar with, a friend, and be as engaging as possible because if you're not, if you come across as awkward on camera, no one's really gonna watch that and just practice lots. I've been doing this for years. I'm not saying I'm amazing at it. I'm continually learning and trying to improve. So yeah, just pretend it's a person. Okay, right, better get my train. Tip number two. Make sure you're using decent equipment. Phones are great for vlogging these days. Modern day smartphones are fantastic. The only thing is with front facing cameras on phones, they are not good in the low light. It's gonna be mushy and grainy. So I'm using a compact vlogging camera. It's the Sony ZV-1. This is great, fits in my pocket. I can take it anywhere I wanna go. But in most situations, a smartphone will do the job. Something else I think is worth investing in is some kind of mini tripod. I'm using the Manfrotto Pixie here, really well made. It's got an adjustable ball head, so you can get your angle right wherever you want your camera. I've just got it on a table here on the train. Or you could get something like a Gorilla Pod, which you can twist into all sorts of different shapes so you can attach it pretty much anywhere. The other bit of equipment you might want to pick up is an external microphone. Generally, smartphone microphones are going to pick up your voice really well in a relatively quiet environment, but if you go somewhere crowded or somewhere noisy, it might just struggle to pick out your voice. You might not get that crispy audio. So you could invest in some kind of external microphone to plug into your phone. They're pretty cheap online, or you could use a compact vlogging camera like I am here on the ZV-1. The onboard microphone on this one is actually really good. But generally, sound very important. If people can't hear what you're talking about then that's not great for a vlog. Tip number three. Choose interesting and varied locations. Don't just film it all in one place. Vlogging is an opportunity for you to take people places they might never have been to before, like train stations. So I'm just walking through Leeds to get to the voiceover studio. Fortunately, it's only a short walk from the station. If you haven't ever been to Leeds before, then don't really know why you'd come actually. The shops, good for shopping. Just arriving at the studio. Let's see what they've got in store for me today. I never know until I get here. Hi, it's Chris. Just so you know, fully vaccinated means you've had your second dose of an approved vaccine at least 14 days before you arrive in the UK. Voiceover is all done, wasn't much to do, quite painless, pretty easy. Tip number four. Be a ruthless editor. Cut out all the filler, don't have any awkward silences or dead air, it just interrupts the flow of the video. Basically, when you're editing, if you see something that isn't interesting and it's not gonna be interesting for other people to watch, cut it out, be ruthless. At the end of the day, it's better to have a really good five minute video than a mediocre 10 minute video. I found this nice quiet area because this illustrates what I'm gonna say about tip number five. One of the hardest things when vlogging is 
doing it around people is being self-conscious about people looking at you when you're talking to a camera and as many people might be doing that these days and making content for YouTube or Instagram people will always stare at you even if you're just talking to your phone so find a nice quiet place like this one where you can be more relaxed and you're not worried about people looking at you as you're talking sometimes I don't mind vlogging in front of people but I've got to be in the right mood I've got to be warmed up and I think you've just got to practice it never gets easy but I think if you practice you can get better at it so there we go five tips that have really helped me with vlogging over the years I hope you find them useful if you vlog and you've got any tips or tricks please let me know down in the comments I would love to hear from you as I mentioned Leeds is pretty good for shops so whilst I'm here I always have a, a little browse if you're looking for a good compact filming option other than your phone I can highly recommend this Sony ZV-1 really small fits in your pocket and great quality just ready for my train otherwise I'm gonna miss it it's just arriving just in time. As good as Leeds is for shopping, the only thing I bought was my lunch. I've got my cutlery, so I can't eat it. Damn. That's it, job done. I'm back from Leeds. I hope you enjoyed coming on this little trip with me and that you found the tips useful. If you liked the video, give me a like and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and if you do that I will see you in the next one bye